Geometry Dash from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Geometry Dash is a series of five video games developed by Sweden-based developer Robert Tapala and published by his own company, Robtop Games. The principal game, Geometry Dash, is a rhythm-based platforming game which currently has 21 official levels and a game creation system with more than 60 million online levels made by players. Each of the official levels features unique background music. Other features include showcases of user-made levels, a daily and weekly selection of custom levels, online leaderboards, customizable player icons, and multiple game modes. Contents Section 1 Gameplay Section 2 Development Section 3 Soundtrack Section 4 Reception 4.1 Other Editions Section 5 Spin-offs 5.1 Geometry Dash Meltdown 5.2 Geometry Dash World 5.3 Geometry Dash Sub-Zero Section 6 References Section 7 External Links Section 1 Gameplay Geometry Dash uses a touchscreen, keyboard, mouse, or controller, depending on version, to control different vehicles that react when a player presses anywhere on the touchscreen and can be held down to constantly interact with certain vehicles. Users cannot control the speed at which the icon is moving. The timing and rhythm of the in-game music are key parts of the game, often in relation to each other. The objective of the game is to complete a level by reaching its end. If the player crashes into an obstacle, they will have to start over from the beginning. The player character can take up to seven separate forms, which behave differently with each interaction. The vehicle the character takes is changed by seven portals, each of which is a different color. The behavior of these modes can be changed further, such as reversing the game view or adding a second player character. There are 21 official levels in the full version of Geometry Dash, 18 of which are unlocked from the start. Each level grants rewards upon completion. Each official level has three secret coins, which are used to unlock the three locked levels. Levels are classified by difficulty, and each difficulty gives a certain number of stars depending on the difficulty. Players can play the levels in almost any order. Players can also earn achievements, which may be exchanged for rewards. Players may also utilize a shop, where they can spend an in-game currency called mana orbs collected through completing levels. Geometry Dash has a practice mode that can be used for any level which allows the player to restart at manually or automatically place checkpoints instead of the very beginning. A level cannot be officially completed on practice mode, though completion can lead to certain rewards. The paid full version features the ability to upload and download user-created levels. The player must complete their level with all coins in normal mode in order to ensure that it is possible to beat before it can be uploaded. Changes after the verification will render it unverified. The difficulty setting is determined by Robert Tapala, the creator of a given level, its players, and moderators capable of sending levels can influence the decision. Image. The beginning of Electroman Adventures, one of the many official levels in the game. Section 2. Development. According to Robert Tapala, the game began as a project that could have moved in any direction. He made the remark, there was really no detailed plan. It simply started as a template with a cube that could crash and jump. He previously developed it for the computer, but later altered his plan and made attempts to make it a mobile game. Tapala was inspired by The Impossible Game, and he took about four months to create the game and take it to the App Store and Google Play. In the beta version, the game was called Geometry Jump, but was later changed to Geometry Dash. Upon its release, Geometry Dash had just seven levels, which are now currently free to play on the game's free version, alongside six other levels released in later updates in the full version. It soon gained serious popularity around the world, especially Canada, where it achieved the title as the most popular paid iPhone app in June 2014. There are four free versions of the game, one being Geometry Dash Lite, which currently, as of update 2.2, includes the first 13 levels from the full version. Section 3, Soundtrack. The Geometry Dash soundtrack is by several music artists, including Forever Bound, DJ VI, Water Flame, DJ Nate, F777, Dex Arson, and Morgan David King. In addition to the official songs, 
Usage of most songs on the Newgrounds music portal is also available. Since it is common for users to abuse the portal to upload songs not made by them to use in Geometry Dash, Robtop implemented a manual approval system to prevent this, where he would choose what artist's works are allowed to be used in-game. Section 4. Reception The game has opened to generally positive reviews from critics. Softpedia complimented the game's style and challenge that it brings up, saying, While it can get a bit frustrating sometimes, you can always complete the stages using the practice mode and then jump into the many different user-generated levels. 148 Apps gave the game a positive review, stating, Geometry Dash provides all of the challenge expected from an impossible game, while also making it more accessible to newcomers. Geometry Dash has also been listed by the reviewer Chris Morris on the website Common Sense Media by as a child-friendly video game that parents could let their children play on, stating that the game was a good way to handle frustration, and that families can also talk about rhythm and the joy of dancing in time with the music. On the App Store, Geometry Dash was ranked 2nd for the app's top 10 iPad games and 7th for the top 10 paid iPhone games in the year 2018. Other additions. For Geometry Dash World, Game Zebo praised the game's captivation and decent gameplay styles, though the reviewer noted that it was not the most interesting game in existence. Jerson Naboa from Android Guys praised the Geometry Dash spin-off, stating that Geometry Dash World is a worthy addition to your game arsenal. Thanks to tightly connected graphical and sound elements, the game provides an awesome integrated experience that is rarely seen in Play Store games. Section 5. Spin-offs. Geometry Dash Meltdown. On December 16th, 2015, Robtop announced a spin-off game called Geometry Dash Meltdown, which was released on December 19th, 2015 for iOS and Android. Currently, as of Update 1.0, it includes three levels featuring the songs of F777, with new icons from version 2.1 made to showcase the 2.0 features to those who do not own the full version. Geometry Dash World On December 21st, 2016, Robtop announced the newest spin-off game called Geometry Dash World, saying that he would leave on the same day. Currently, as of Update 1.0, it includes two worlds with five levels in each world, new 2.1 icons, a shop, a new vault, daily quests, levels and rewards, and secret chests made to showcase some of the new 2.1 features that were included in the update of the full version. Geometry Dash Sub-Zero On December 12th, 2017, Robtop announced the newest spin-off game called Geometry Dash Sub-Zero, which was released on December 21st, 2017. It consists of three levels. It is currently the latest standalone game released by Robtop, and the first to offer some features of Update 2.2, including new icons and triggers, such as camera controls, which are not yet released on the full and original version of Geometry Dash.